morning for joining us on this uh, morning program. Issues, issues. We've not been here for, for a little period because of technical issues. Now we are back, full, fully back and back and back. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. This program remains issues. And my name is Emeniki Rebu. And my colleague in the studio remains um, Kelechimu. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're welcome. You. You're welcome this wonderful morning. We want to thank you. Of course, we know what's trending in Nigeria. The issue of social media regulation and this this um, latest um, urge for the regulation of social media is um, uh, coming from the NSAS protest, the events surrounding the NSAS protest. That is the latest urge that is pushing the federal government, the APC-led government, to think of how to regulate the social media. Also recently, the Northern leadership also had a meeting in Kaduna where they also decided that one of the points that must be looked into is the regulation of the social media. So this morning, we'll be looking at social media regulation. Is it, a, is, is it good to go or is it against the, the wills of the people? That is going to be our discussion this morning. And my, my, with me in the studio remains Kelechimo. And Kelechimo, what's your take on this development this morning? First, I must say good morning to our viewers. And it's, it's good to see you guys once again. I condemn, <laughs> I condemn in its entirety the censorship, the ban, the monitoring, the looking into this social media. In fact, there was something I tweeted yesterday and I said, it is wickedness for anyone to think of trying to present any type of social media bill in order to make the youth population quiet. For me, the social media has solved more civil problems mm -hmm. than all our courts put together. The social media has tried on its own, particularly the Twitter community, has tried on its own to address issues that are of major concern, not just to the youthful population, but the entire Nigerians. And now, we just ended a peaceful NSAS protest. A peaceful? Yes, it was peaceful. In as much as they claim that hoodlums hijacked it. Nobody. How are we going to know that the hoodlums are not a member of the NSAS protest? No. You and I have been following this trend. In fact, you and I participated. Of course I did. The day we participated. Yes. Did you see any hoodlum? How can you identify a hoodlum? Were you disrupted? No. Let's not even go into that. I'm trying to... No, my, my challenge is for you to describe hoodlums as not being part of the NSAS protesters. Because the question, have, why, why, have, 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 why and, brought and out the issue of who is a hoodlum? That is the question. Why, 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 why were they even tagged hoodlums? What made them hoodlums? Are they protesters? We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, go on. So, now, the youth presented some basics to the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. Some, uh, uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Some problems mm -hmm. to the government. The government have not deemed it wise mm -hmm. to go full square. I resolve into, the issues of the youth. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The first thing the Northern governors thought wise to do was to go and present a censorship bill mm -hmm. of censoring a, a social media mm -hmm. to the house. Mm -hmm. It is even more shocking and disheartening that the same modern leaders who are struggling with Boko Haram mm -hmm. for how many years now, mm -hmm. instead of them to put all their efforts, weight and everything in order to cause the crisis in the north, what they saw was of greatest importance is the social media view. Because they have seen that the social media has the capacity of jeopardizing their selfish political interest. And that is why all of them. And did you even remember that when they went, they did not go as PDP or APC? They went as what? They went as Northern Governors. <laughs> Are you getting me? Uh... They know that is so, um, that is struggling with a high level of poverty. You saw what happened in Joss. Mm -hmm. You saw uh, where the, the COVID-19 palliative. You saw the crowd. Mm -hmm. That was shocking. These are the issues the government need to 
have addressed. Try to see how they can create employment for the youth. Do you know how many young people who are making money from social media claim money? Okay, okay. Um, uh, remember that this show remains issues. You can call into the studio. The number to call into the studio is on your screen. Just call into the studio. You can also drop your messages on our trends and let's discuss. Remember to follow us on our on our YouTube handle, our Twitter handle, and our Instagram handle. My name remains Emeniki Rebu. And this morning we are discussing the social media regulation bill. And with me in the house remains um, Kelechimo. Kelechimo, you're welcome again. And you've said a lot about um, uh, your position as regards the um, regulation of social media. But I... But even at that, mm. don't you see some um, um, divisive or, or, or is, is it, um, uh, don't you see some people using the social media to promote uh, hate in our system? Don't you see it? Is that not good enough reason to see how to regulate social media? Now, the issue of hate, mm -hmm. we need to tackle the fundamentals. Why are people championing hate? There is no system that is perfect. Even in America, where people think there's some level of perfectness, there are still people that are championing, championing hate. Okay. And, we, and, I agree. And, and the government I agree. cannot allow those kind of divisive tendencies to keep going on or to destroy the state. Is that a good enough reason for the government to think of regulation? Good. I agree. Mm -hmm. That is in the United States. Mm -hmm. Nigeria has a peculiar issue. Mm -hmm. Everybody is angry, everybody is mad. Nigeria is suffering from all manner of sicknesses. And it does appear that over the last decades, we've been attacking the symptoms and not the problems. Mm -hmm. Now, the issue of social media being regulated, social media has been there. Why did this thing come up during the NSAS process? Because they saw that, that is the truth, they saw that the youths used the social media to organize a peaceful protest that got worldwide recognition. That is why they are trying to cop or censor whatever grammar they use to call it, the social media. We need to ask ourselves the question, is social media a problem? The question is no. I mean, the answer is no. <laughs> social media is not our problem. Our problem is unemployment. No, our problem is why justice. You, you, have not, you have not actually have not answered my question. My question is, are you saying that based on the divisive tendency it is not a of individuals, hold on, of an individual, of some individual on social media, which has the, the, the capacity to cause great violence. We know and we have heard of the violence that took place in some part of this um, nation, which was sponsored or not sponsored, which was spurred, which was encouraged by some individuals on social media. Is it not good enough reason to regulate social media? With violence. There was, I'm not aware of don't, any violence. Don't you know what happened in Abba? What? The violence that happened in Abba? Don't know what happened in you know, people where police officers and military officers were killed. Was it, Are they not good enough reasons? Was it social media that caused the killing? F of course. Are you not aware of a trending video or trending um, voice message that went on the social media, which was went viral on social media? Whose voice message? We know the person. So that's what I'm saying. Good. Are those reasons yeah. not good enough to see how to censor the social media? The question is, even before the, the person started giving out such voice notes, mm -hmm. what prompted the person from giving it? The person is angry. The whole thing is anger. We are, my there point is no is, justification my point, of anger to seek my, for violence. There are processes to seek for, this is to justify you, your anger. This is you sitting down and saying that no, that, no me. That, that is the democratic and I'm process. Telling you, and I'm telling you that the social media is not our problem. Save the youth from unemployment, save the youth from good health care, get proper education, and all these things will be settled. See, see let us not forget the mm. germane of this discussion. Fake Number one news. is that, not about fake news, we have in a system, we have a government where things relatively look as though they are standard. And they still have divisive tendencies who are there all over the world. There are countries that, that seem as though they are standard. That means to say that most times, these divisive tendencies are not really based on the nature of things. There are some people who are just bent down to say, okay, this is my position on this, and it has to be that way. Even at well done, even against the rules of revolution. So what, what I'm saying is that, are you saying that the federal government should just fold their hands and allow people to destroy this country using the social media and not make any statement, not take any action? The federal government mm -hmm. should, tackle, do, 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 should tackle the requests made by the youth. If they can tackle the requests made by the youth, then we can all sit down and start thinking about social media. For now! What the youth are clamoring is, we gave you, is it five point or seven points? We gave you some things. 
Concentrate on it, five for five. Five for five. Concentrate on those issues. Look, we all saw the SWAT train. <laughs> we all saw the SWAT train in the other day. That's a train. <laughs> Come off it. You yeah. have different training. <laughs> okay, I agree. You see the problem? What's the you problem? You see the problem? You see, and again, there's another problem which I think we have as Nigerians. Okay. You cannot just oppose the training of the United States SWAT. I said that's how the Nigerian SWAT has to be. Do we even have the, the physical the physical infrastructure to do that? Nobody. So so now no, 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 we See, have the human every physical hold well on every physical infrastructure is as a result of your financial capacity. Are you aware of that? And you are saying if you are living if you are living in a duplex, it's because you have the finance. And you say so we are saying that this country you say we may not have, have the capacity. May not okay. May not I have agree. the capacity mm. to have what it takes for a SWAT to be like the SWAT of this of America. Hold on. Some basic security items will not even have them during the NSAT SWAT protest. Yes. Under one week, Nigerian youths had. The telephone line that you could call if you were is that is, is there, calm is, down. Is there any skyrockets be, be, be about coming, that? Be coming is down. it rocket science? On that one, we, is it rocket? Good, is it rocket science? But you are trying to prove to, to you that GSM. it is rocket science now. Where well, it is on record that our Nigerian senators are the highest paid in the world. Mm -hmm. In fact, that, I was that, speaking that, with that, the Polish man that, the other that, day, that, that and he told me that, that the that, senator that, that that in that Poland that is, 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 is earning uh, at least one point five million naira. That's an issue. And you can, it's an issue. Yes. Now, if you rem if you cut out the cost of governance, don't you think we can ever we can afford to give those <laughs> those SWAT trainings that we saw the other day a better training? See, what I'm saying is that it is understandable that those people sh may should have the capacity or there are better trainings uh, but most of the challenge is that when we want to just oppose our SWAT with that of the United SWAT States. of the it's not possible then we where are, no you know no, why you know why we are just oppose no 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 you know why we are just oppose every security because infrastructure depends on the financial capacity of the state i agree but hey. then if we say we do not want to be compared with the united states yes. why borrowing everything from them we brought this one from them isn't it now, if you see, if you must copy, you copy well. Every, no, 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 no. Every, 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 if you country, must copy, you every, copy well. Every country has, has adapted one thing or the other from another country. Nigeria, I, don't really want to I, have, I have constantly said. Not about that. Yes, but our own, we copy and we do not copy well. Why don't we copy and put it in the Nigerian or African contest? If we say we want SWAT, all right. Bring that SWAT and let it be visible. What you were saying, that joke you saw them doing on the Is that not a training? Training. Have you not seen them? My training? brother, what is different between the training we saw? These are the same people that will go down and go down and they start to coming down. Did you see the hey? Yeah. <laughs> hey oh. People said, did, did you not see it? Did you notice they even changed them? We even pronounced it well. What are they what are they pronouncing? So what? <laughs> no, well, this is, well, this is not, this is whether not whether it, it is SWAT or whether it is SWAT, the point that we know what I'm trying to say. The, see, the point is that we are not copying well. Uh -huh. If we must copy, let us copy well. A good and intelligent student in the exam hall. If you copy, you copy well. Okay, this morning, we want to thank you for always being with us here for our program this morning. This morning, we are looking at the uh, social media regulation. I'm trying to see how to bring out some more facts from my colleague in the studio, um, Kelechi. Well, that's what we're discussing this morning. It's not as if um, we're against our, ourselves. Not, not, not at all. <laughs> Don't take it that way. But then, the issue is this. Uh. Social media regulation, that is still where we are. Yeah. So many people have been hurt by one social media post or the other by individuals in this country. Yeah. People have been bullied with the social media in this country. Mm -hmm. And obviously you've seen people pushing one or two narrative that seems not to be true by the social media. Do you expect that a, a responsible government, whichever one it is, at the local, at the state or at the federal, will just close its eyes and keep quiet? What do you want the government to do at this point to see how to begin to address most of these issues that seems to be fake news, that seems not to be true? Those narratives that have capacity to break in this country, what do you think the federal government should be doing at this moment? Now, if every sensible government will try to prioritize the unity of his country. Alright, that is the truth. Let's be objective. But then, we need to ask ourselves some fundamental questions. Why are we having all this problem? Why is it that the social media is striving now than before? The answer is simple. The government has failed on their own part. And that is why individuals are now returning to self-help. The young people of this country have seen the social media as the last hope of the common man. 
let's be realistic. Mm. Those guys who we are in the deners, the dancers, mm. this issue of SARS came up in the social media. And it was somebody like Sagalink who took it upon himself with him and his law firm of friends. They were going about looking at the cases of young people who were extorted by the Nigerian police under SARS. So you now discovered that if those young people might had gotten to court, it would take some series of battles. First, you have to hire a lawyer. You have to pay the lawyer. And you are not even sure of judgment coming immediately. Mm -hmm. So the social media, we made the world come closer. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Brought all these people together and said, listen, let us face this issue. And if not for the clamor, if not for the, the noise that was made on social media, SARS would have been still in existence. This is the first time. The first time we wanted SARS to end, and it ended, courtesy of the social media. Now the youth are now saying that the social media is helping us. Let us use it. In as much as I will agree that there is the issue of fake news. But I asked one question yesterday. Which one is real news? Let me give you a practical example. You have seen the statements coming out from both the Honorable Minister for Justice on the Lekki massacre. What did he say? Oh, you've not heard. He said, I quote him, you said that what happened in Lekki, we are hoodlums who uh, 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 were military. No, 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 that's not what he said. He said what happened in Lekki okay. may have been okay. hoodlums. May. So we should okay, be able okay, to okay, get okay, right okay, 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 okay. May <laughs> have been. That was a smart one. May have. But the point is this. We've seen different stories coming out. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even believe that something like that happened. It, Bala Ahmed Tinubu came on TV and said that even those of them who were victims have some explanations to do. Of course, they'll have to explain to them. Calm they down. Explain, ex is calm, that down yes. calm down. Everybody will explain. Even the dead will explain. Yes. yes. The, we the, know, dead no, 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 explain. the dead will explain. No, the dead uh, cannot explain. They will all explain. How would they explain? Now, if you look at the variety, our president, oh, our dear president, came out on national TV to address the youth and pretended as if nothing of that happened. Okay. Now, if you look at the body language mm -hmm. of the government, yes. the security forces, who are supposed to be at the forefront of, let us find out what happened in Lekki, forensic this, that, 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 that. If you look at the body language, you know, discover that it does appear. You know, you used me, so my own is it does appear. That they are not being sincere. And this is the thing that kills the spirit of the Nigerian people. Are you getting the point? Because we have gotten to that point where we don't be, we don't know what is going on. All right, Arise TV, Channel TV, especially Arise. Kudos to them. I want to use this medium to thank you. Uh, okay. Arise TV was following what was happening all over the country, especially in Lagos mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. during the hoodlums. At the end of all those things, NBC came out and said that what they did was against the broadcasting ethics. Now okay. you not discover that. Hold on. You not discover that there is this disconnect between the people and the information channels, which mostly must go by the government. Okay, um, we are still on our program this morning. We are still looking at um, uh, issues, and our issue this morning is the regulation, the social media regulation uh, plan by the federal government of Nigeria. They have been pushing it recently after the NSAS protest, which was mostly championed, which was um, highly championed on the social media, of course. Now, another thing I want to ask you is that, do you think the federal government is scared of social media? Yes. Yes, that's, 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 that's a good, there's no two ways that, they are scared. See, but this I, government enjoys social media when coming to power. What, what, uh, what do you think, where, where did it change? That is, that's what is amazing. You know, eh, there's this they say in Igbo, maybe you help me in English. Obu mana like a magaya nazo. The man that carry knife <laughs> does not like knife passing his back. <laughs> <laughs> that was a literal translation anyway. Now, that is exactly what is playing out here. This government came in through the social media. Mm -hmm. This same government came in through protests. Mm -hmm. They have they are trying to do everything possible to cope this because they know what is coming up. If a government is proactive. Nobody should be scared of anything. 
if the government is proactive, nobody is scared of anything. Exactly. Because you cannot destroy the basic foundation that brought you into power. So are you saying that this government at the moment is scared of social media because they have a lot that they are hiding? Is it about hiding because we've seen Or it not being sincere? Oh, I think it's not being sincere. See, the truth is everybody's fed up. Is every, that, is, everybody, is that, everybody could be a, 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 a fallacy. When you say everybody's fed up, it's a fallacy. Uh, well, I majority. I, I get what uh -huh. you mean. Majority. The it's majority, still your opinion. Majority. Still, you know, I, I am entitled. Some, you can some say your people, own. Some people. No, not some people. Some people no, 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 not some people. Not happy. No, no, no. Don't if, say if, majority. If, if you say, if you say, what statistics are you working on? What is the majority of the YouTube? What's the majority of the youth in this country? What statistics are you working on? We, uh, my own statistics. The point I'm trying what's to say. What is statistics? What is the statistics? Show me the data. You cannot come and say majority. See, it's still a if, fallacy. If, no, it's not a fallacy. It is. The NSAS protest yes. showed us yes. that a lot of people are angry with the system. Of Especially course, a the young lot, people. A lot of people the are young angry people. with the government. And you it doesn't you mean, mean the you majority see? of the young people are angry with the government. In the case of this, I begin to wonder whether no, no. The I, am, I, I am a journalist, <laughs> so I must make sure I get no, you, no, no, you put the facts right. I am putting what the facts saying, that I am saying, saying that, that majority of people are that, angry. What I'm saying is that in as much as we do not have these data mm. on ground, mm. we do not have these facts and figures on ground, mm. we cannot come on a live streaming program like this and begin to say yeah, this you are trying with to, all You are trying to be politically correct. No, no, no. You are trying to be politically correct. No, but the point, well, you're entitled to your opinion. No, <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's not an opinion. <laughs> it's a fact. I am also saying the fact. No, you're not saying the fact. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to judge? I'm not saying the because fact. Because you don't have any data to support your position that majority of people or majority of youths are against this government. Based on what happened. You don't what have happened, the facts. Based on what happened during the entire protest. I can No, 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 let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me, let, me, let me tell you. Do you know that? That the number of youths, let's say for example, Abia State, mm. the number of youths that came out from the, for the NSAS protest, mm. do you know that that is not even up to 30% of the number of youths in Abia State? I agree. So, how would we, how would we now submit it on that position? Now, there are two types of youths. Say it! There are two types of youths. <laughs> there are ones who are social media warriors okay. and the ones who are marching in the street. All of them combined. Yeah, yeah they are marchers on the street marchers. <laughs> yeah, street marchers. <laughs> But let's not forget about this. Okay, okay, okay. Before we, before we go on, let's go to our social media handle and see some comments that have been dropping. We have Anthony K Kings and Kennedy. He said youths in Nigeria should wake up to reclaim their destiny. Where he still made that statement again. He said that northern leaders want to tramp on people's life. Youth need to wake up. That is his opinion. We have Kenechuku Kennedy Obonina. He said that Nigeria has been doomed. By those parading themselves as leaders, uh, young youth keep dying every day for their selfish interest. For their selfish interest, but one day their children will pay for the sins uh, of of the of the parents. Mark my word. Okay, he said, uh, "Mark my word." Well, uh, that's still the same thing. That's his opinion. opinion. That's his opinion. So. My, my own issue with all this is there are major problems. Okay? There are major the, problems. The, what I want to ask you now is that if you say that the government should not look into the issue of social media to regulate it, what do you think the government should do? Five of five. Look into it. If you sort that out, is if that you okay? sort that out. Is that okay for Nigerian youth? No, it's not okay. But it will give us that kind of sense of belonging that you are trying, trying to solve the problem. Now, that's not, that's another issue because, which you have see, uh, this the social media is like serving as a watchdog. Okay, um, can I tell you another issue we have again? Um, the, 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 the northern elites have come up and they, they are saying that um, the NSAS protest was hijacked by divisive um, uh, people and they, 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 they were looking at how to upturn or overthrow the president um, uh, through through the not through the ballot means through not through the ballot box uh, so that um, the NSAS uh, was hijacked and so what is your take on that position of the of, see, of, of uh, leaders? I will agree that the NSAS was hijacked. But this other hijacked by who? Hoodlums, okay? But this other narrative who are the of we come this same question. Uh, who are the hoodlums and what even made them hoodlums? Are you getting my point? Because <laughs> there are a lot of issues. 
the authority <laughs> yes. that they are trying to push is what mm. I totally disagree. Eminike, do you know that I can tell you that Ngozi that is looking to, uh, that is working hard mm -hmm. to be the DG yes. of the World Trade Organization? Yes. Some I use the word unfortunate Nigerians in high places are trying to sabotage that effort. How do you know that? Don't worry. When I tell you some things, believe me. But now let me go back to this issue. Uh, the northern. Can't uh, we discuss with that building goes inside? No. Ngozi is the woman of the moment. You know it's not possible. It's not possible. I will only rest when she's announced. Okay. So go on, I'm listening. The issue of this was saying that they wanted to topple the government. Mm -hmm. Why would they even bring such thing? Is that more wickedness on the pit of hell? Mm -hmm. So if your lie? government was even so that's doing, a lie. It's a lie, it's fallacious. It's a lie. It doesn't exist. This is just a way of trying to change the narrative. The young people protested. Mm -hmm. I said enough is enough. We want this, that, that. What the young people... But, the we, young saw, but we saw people carrying placards that were saying that the and president Buhari. and Buhari. We saw so many of those kind of placards. That's supposed to be part of the NSAS protest. Now, the, the point is, according or to Abraham Lincoln... Those kind of placards are not going to send those divisive... We those, are in a democracy. Those attempt to we are in a democracy. But, uh, Every Abraham democracy Lincoln, has a democratic uh, process of, of, of Abraham of, of, Lincoln of said that a people have the right to shake up any existing government and form the one that befits them. All right, we see protests all over the places. So, which means obviously the NSAS protest is always aimed at um, 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 toppling the president. How can you Based say on that? What you are saying, How right? can you say that? Based on I what told you the the champion of it was NSAS. That was the hashtag. That was the main. You know, I'm walking based in, on what you said. And I'm what telling you that I, I am told telling you that we saw people have carrying placards saying. And I'm trying to defend why you, I, this is democracy. And I'm trying to say uh, use a quote by a, a, somebody who they said. The That's why I asked. Democracy. Is, is that embryo part of the NSAS protest? No, you know people came out with a lot of things. No, you no. Know why did the of, of protest see how to replace? You, you know, the you know, you know. Some people even came out with N Nigeria, and I was explaining what N Nigeria means in my own understanding. Are you getting so no, but let's not forget the issue. Yes. That one, the issue of N Buhari, N Nigeria, top of government, all those things is is not the basics. They are trying to say, Mr. President, Mr. Governor, Mr. Senator, Mr. Whoever you are, can you sit up? Okay, okay, let's see. Nigerians are also bothered on this issue. Um, they are saying that um, Nigeria already have laws. We have the cyber crime law which obviously tackles um, cyber bullying and any other cyber crime. Mm. We also have the um, defamatory law, we have the criminal defamatory laws, which were, which are actually positioned to people to seek redress if they have been maligned on any kind of information on published either on prayer or whichever way you publish it. They say these laws are there already, that based on these laws that it has covered every need that the federal government needs in terms of tap and tackling excesses on social media, that why then do the government need social media, well, need that regulation? What's, what again are they looking for? And you remember that the, that, that the commission, the minister for um, um, information and culture, also talked Lime about um, and, um, um, aligning us with China. What China is doing? So how do you see all that? You first of all ask Lion Mohammed, is Nigeria in the same atmosphere with China? You see, eh, when people make references, Lion Mohammed, like the one we made with Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, exactly, like the one we made with Saudi Arabia. You know, see. Why? My question is, why is this thing coming up now? It's because they saw it, that the youth could organize themselves on the social media and carry it out the reality. Okay, we are sitting on our program this morning, issues, we are discussing on social media regulations. We have a lot of, um, of views and opinion. Basically, my, my opinion on this issue is that we do not need a regulation on social media. We do not need that at all. And the, the, the reason I'm pushing for that position is this. Number one is that people do not really trust this government so much to have a sincere interest of regulating social media. People feel as though what they intend to do is to have a switch off and on button where they can switch off the social media anytime they want it exactly. and they can on that whenever they, whenever exactly. they want it which is the fear of most people and again people are saying that at which also my opinion that we have already laws on ground all we need those laws to be done is to strengthen those laws to make them more effective 
and apply those laws. We have defamatory laws, we have criminal defamatory laws, we have um, cyber crime laws. All these laws are there. Even those fake news, even those fake the laws are there. Why don't we work on that laws again? Why does the government want to regulate the social media? Is there something else that Nigerians or Nigerian youth do not know that they need to tell us to actually understand? And again, another issue is that most of these social media platforms already have regulatory capacity on their own. If you post a wrong news on, say, say Facebook, they will come and tell you it's fake yes. and they'll penalize you. Yes. Why then do we need another special regulation for the social media? That's where most of us are concerned. I'm also concerned about it. I think Nigeria does not need the regulation at this moment. We don't need it. I'm doing it now. We'll send a wrong signal to that. And now there's another view that people have that if government attempts to regulate social media, that we may not know where this country will head to because uh, obviously the youth may look for other means to communicate of with, my, with my go haywire. Of course. Of course. It's just like water. When you force water from using this particular channel, it obviously will look for another channel. A government cannot fight the youth population of his country. Mm -hmm. Because the youths occupy almost 70 to 80 percent population of this country. How can you fight that? Number? How many people will you kill? Are you getting my point? The government should concentrate more on the issues raised by the youths through the social media. That should be their focal point. Okay, that should be their focal point. The, youth, the, the government should con concentrate on the demands made by the youth. Remember, it's important to state that the youth population in this country is very, very high. And of course, the NSAS protests opened the eye of so many youths to the capacity or the ability they have to make the federal government quick. So they have shown it, and they have shown it again and again and again. So the, the, the government should sit up and look at how to solve the problem of the youth to make sure that we have a harmonious nation. Let's move to the U.S. now. Look at what's happening in the U.S. <laughs> the U.S. election. At the moment, what, 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 what's your feelings about the election? Well... At least we've not heard of a um, uh, um, ballot box being hijacked. Is, uh, we've not heard that Trump, um, um, Trump's world was attacked with gunmen. <laughs> we, we didn't see people sharing food during, on, on the line. <laughs> we didn't see people sharing money on the line. So, uh, what do we have to learn? What does Nigerian policy have to learn from that? Simple. The U.S. election has proven that the West took their time to build strong institutions and they were successful. While we in Africa, Nigeria, have succeeded perfectly in building strong men. This goes to show that we need more of a strong institution than strong men. If you have strong institutions, you discover that what is happening in this election is happening as a result of the strong institutions that was done by the forefathers and even currently doing. And every day in the U.S., they work out ways to strengthen the electoral system. Twitter and Facebook also participated in a way to strengthen the electoral system. To, um, Donald Trump made a tweet early this morning. Twitter removed it. Mm. These were all ways to strengthen the electoral system. What we have succeeded in doing in Nigeria is building strong men, and that is not helping us. And I must say this at this point. I'm only supporting a president <laughs> who will back Dr. Ngozi Okunjiwala. That is the only president okay. I will support. The U.S. election at the moment is on, and a lot of things are happening in the U.S. election, and a lot of votes are still being counted. That's why um, most of the election um, states have not been decided. And, and do you know what's special about the U.S. election is that each state, they, we don't have National Electoral Commission. No. Each state have its own commission, releases its own results. Is that independently? Independently. Each state does that. That's what's special, special about the U.S. And you are seeing it. If, 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 that, if that is in Nigeria here, that means, uh, let's say, can you even bring out one billion votes? That is what I'm saying. Because we're... <laughs> you see, uh, our, our, our... Uh, Sometimes, uh, there was something I wrote on Facebook last night. I don't know whether you wrote it. I asked, what is our priority? I don't know the fate of this, our country. Is it politically or pol for politicians? Because uh, the priority for politicians is to win election. Uh, no, no, I was... You need to read... Not, uh, not, not... Not, not, to, not, not for the nation, not to the, but to win not election. To win election, and they will go out, out to use any form that is to the win election. And yet, we need to have a national agreement. When a 
whenever we try, like, for example, the Ensas protest achieved that to a certain level. There was this agreement, everybody agreed, that things have gone wrong. On the, on the SARS, yeah, is it on the, other issues? That thing extended to other issues. We all know. That is still. No, 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 let's not. We have to focus. MDK, MDK, don't, don't drag me to this. The point I'm trying to make is. Yes, make your point. Make, make your point. We need to have an agreement. Okay. As a people. Yes. That this. But we had one already. We had the. 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 the, the, the um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, what's that called? The convention that um, Jonathan organized. 2014. Confirmed. Confirm. Why have we, we um, implemented those things? That, that's where the issue Even is. Even President Buhari said he was going to restructure this country. Jonathan himself, who actually carried out that process, did not even implement any of it before he left power. You can imagine. So what really are we doing? So, exactly. You don't discover that it does appear that the corridors of power is stronger than the people. But I'm sure that this narrative will change on Sunday. We want to thank you so much for this morning show this morning. We thank you so much for your messages that you have dropped. Uh, we thank you so much. We appreciate you. My guest in the studio remains um, Kelechi Imo, uh, my partner, my friend. We are here on this show. We want to thank you so much for partaking in this show. And remember that you can watch this, this show again on our social media handles and also on our YouTube handle, um, AF Television on YouTube. You can follow us on Twitter, AF News NG on Twitter. Same thing on Instagram. Have a wonderful day. Kelechi, your final, your final parting word. Well, uh, I will tell you, uh, the Nigerian use you guys are strong. We are all strong. And um, keep on doing, being the good guy. Keep on making Nigeria great again. And let us all learn from what is happening in the United Nations. Please, in the comfort of your home, pray for Dr. Ngozi Okonjiwala to win. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I remain in the